हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर टेन ऑन काउंटिंग इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस वन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ जनरलाइज पिजन हॉल प्रिंसिपल सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दैट एप्लीकेशन वी जस्ट रिकॉल व्हाट इज जनरलाइज पिजन हॉल प्रिंसिपल वी नो दैट सपोज वी वांट टू पुट कैपिटल एन ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन टू सम बॉक्सिस से के बॉक्सिस सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू पुट कैपिटल एन ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन टू के बॉक्सिस देन जनरलाइज पिजन हॉल प्रिंसिपल सेज दैट देर एग्जिस्ट एटलीस्ट वन बॉक्स विच कंटेंट्स देर एग्जिस्ट एटलीस्ट वन बॉक्स कंटेनिंग एटलीस्ट सीलिंग ऑफ एन बाय के ऑब्जेक्ट्स This is generalized pigeon hole principle. Now sometimes uh, we want to find out the minimum number of objects. Some problems will be of these types. Find minimum number of objects such that R of these objects. Find minimum number of objects such that R of these objects not r at least r of these objects r in one of the given boxes so here uh, we are given boxes number of boxes are k and we don't know what is the number of objects so we have to find out capital n which is the minimum number of objects such that at least r of these objects are in one of the k boxes so one possible value from this generalized pigeon hole principle is r equal to at least n by k ceiling of n by k objects generalized pigeon hole principle says that if n objects are placed into k boxes then there is at least one box containing at least ceiling of n by k objects so that is uh, that we can consider as r equal to ceiling of n by k objects but we suppose we are interested in the minimum number of objects such that at least r of these objects are in one of the k boxes then we have one formula for finding that capital n so capital n is given by k times r minus 1 plus 1 using this formula we can find out the minimum number of objects capital n such that at least r of these objects are in one of the k boxes so for this we have to decide that what is the value of k and what is r in the given problem so that we have to decide and we can easily find out the minimum number of objects such that at least r of these objects are in one of the k boxes so we understand this with the help of one example and we will remember this capital n is k into r minus 1 plus 1 here uh, we are asked to find out the minimum number of students required in a discrete mathematics class to be sure that at least 6 will receive the same grade if there are five possible grades a b c d and f so first we have to think we are asked to find out the minimum number of students that is capital n will be minimum number of students and we have to decide capital n in such a way that at least 6 will receive the same grade so we will consider r equal to 6 and at least 6 will receive the same grade or we can uh, understand in this way at least r equal to 6 will be in one box so here uh, we will consider grades as boxes and uh, there are five possible grades so we will take k equal to 5 so
so we have to find out minimum number of students that is minimum number of objects such that at least r equal to 6 students or objects will receive the same box or grid so here number of boxes are k equal to 5 value of r is 6 so we can easily decide the minimum number of students using this formula k into r minus 1 plus 1 value of k is 5 r minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 which is 5 plus 1 that is 26 so the minimum number of students required in a discrete mathematics class to be sure that at least 6 will receive the same grade is 26. So we have to write systematically there are 5 possible grades. So we consider grades as boxes. So we will take k equal to 5. Now we have to find capital N students which are objects such that at least 6 students or at least 6 objects will receive the same grade or at least 6 will be in the same box so we take r equal to 6 and now n equal to k into r minus 1 plus 1 therefore n is 5 k equal to 5 r is 6 so n equal to 26 therefore the minimum number of students required is n equal to 26 so that at least six students will receive the same grade so this is very nice uh, application of uh, pigeon hall principle here number of objects capital n we have to find minimum number of objects capital n and we are given number of boxes equal to five which are five possible grades and uh, we have to decide that uh, capital N such that at least 6 will receive the same grade so we will take R equal to 6 so you can compare with uh, this uh, statement that the minimum number of objects here objects are students such that at least R objects that is R is 6 here will be in the same box so box is grade here will receive the same grade that means at least r objects will be in the same box so from this you will have the idea that uh, which uh, thing you have to consider as boxes uh, which value you have to consider for r and then you have this ready made formula minimum number of objects equal to k into r minus 1 plus 1 so this is all about this session in upcoming sessions we will discuss some more problems related to generalized pigeonhole principle thank you